review, and for the first figure review, I did buy a few Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens figures on Force Friday, um, mainly from the free and free quarter inch line, and obviously going to be reviewing some of them, and decided for my first one to take a look at uh, one of my favorites from the wave that I, from the figures that I picked up, and that figure in particular is Captain Phasma, the first one I'll be looking at already. The three and three quarter inch version is actually going for, you know, quite a bit of money online. Um, I've only seen it in stores once, I'm actually glad I did buy it, you know, the only time I've seen it so far. Um, there are obviously some fronts with the figure which I will get into, but first of all, taking a look at the packaging. So, Captain Phasma is part of what is called the Forest line of these Build-A-Weapon figures. Um, you can kind of see that with um, the card background. You know, it's a forest, you know, kind of murky green color, which actually looks really nice on this packaging. There's the finished weapon there from the three figures um, in this forest, you know, particular line f to build that weapon. Um, Get into that a bit more later with the back of the packaging and got a really nice image of Captain Phasma there with the forest background of course um, and of course the Kylo Ren image which is on top of the Force Awakens merchandise and Star Wars The Force Awakens as it says there. On the back of the packaging you see the other figures in the wave to build this particular weapon there's a fair few um, section there's like three figures that you need to build the weapon Captain Phasma being one of them the other is Kylo Ren who I haven't seen at all yet his The Force Awakens merchandise seems to be the most popular by far and I believe Bespin Luke Skywalker um, I could be wrong maybe I think it is Bespin Luke though um, I'm only guessing because I'll see you know I'm not one of the collectors who, you know, or people who has to, you know, build every weapon, you know, I'm just buying the figures I want to buy and I really don't need that look. Um, and there's also a description of the character which you should be able to read there. Clad in distinctive metallic armor, Captain Phasma commands the First Order's Legion of Troopers. So, you know, it doesn't really give out any spoilerific details, which I'm sure uh, some of you who are worried about spoilers will be glad to know, but um, nothing we couldn't really have guessed anyway. Um, so, yeah, the figure itself, I think, for the most part, is really, um, really good. Um, I do have a few points with it, like, uh, you know, kind of a small thing, but I know some people would complain about it as well, or point it out, the chrome... Uh, color of the figure isn't exactly as it is in the film. Um, I just you know have a comparison there, um, and you know I think it's still a good color, and there is a bit of chrome detail to it, and the uh, it, I think it's just not as dark as it should be, uh, but with you know with collectibles like it's very hard you know getting a chrome color exactly right. I know for example with Lego, um, they've been very hesitant to make sets using chrome pieces uh, like a certain ship from the Phantom Menace and that's why they haven't done it so you know props to Hasbro that they did use some form of chrome on it it's not exactly the right color but as I think it should be but it still still looks pretty good and um, the cape as well I really like I think uh, the cape is really good it's actually removable um, I'll actually show you that now that I've mentioned it. Uh, you actually take the helmet off and you can then take the cape off as well, which is very nice. You know, they could have just sculpted it onto the figure, so it's actually nice they went a little extra mile in this regard that the cape is actually removable. Um, which is very nice. It's one of two accessories the figure comes with. Uh, I just want to show you that one before I forgot about it. Uh, the other accessory of course being the um being the blaster shield and I'm having trouble getting the helmet back on. There we go. Uh so first order blaster there. Um might be a signature one for her. I don't think it's with any of the other figures I got that particular colour or design. Um it's a very nice blaster anyway, it looks very interesting and it fits well in either hand actually, which is uh, nice because sometimes with 
Star Wars figures blasters will only fit well in one of the figures hands but this one actually fits comfortably in both which is good yeah uh, as far as the details go of the figure it's actually interesting because I usually show the detail first and I somehow accidentally showed you the accessories for the figure first as far as the detail goes I'll do a zoom in on the helmet I think the details on the helmet have been done really well uh, I don't really have any major complaints, I'll actually zoom out a little bit because I haven't got all of the helmet um, yeah I think the helmet does look very nice and nothing really I can complain about as far as the helmet is concerned it just looks pretty good detail wise nothing really for me to you know complain about um, yeah looks good and other details around the figure you know as I was saying the cape looks really good uh, nice red stream or streak or whatever you want to call it you know going down the side of course it's mostly black though um, you know all the other grey silver and chrome details on the figure look really nice as well uh, also you know there's holsters and pouches I think as well on the side of the figure and um, on the back, other various details. Yeah, uh, nothing really other than you know the you, uh, mix of chrome, grey, and silver, and all that to really you know talk about that much. But uh, detail-wise, the figure looks fine. I think there's really nothing to complain about detail-wise. It looks really good as far as what we've seen of the character so far. Um, yeah, I mean aside from as I said, it could look a little bit darker, like the. Um, image on the card back does but still looks looks really good in any case um, as far as the articulation for the figure goes Captain Phasma comes with a ball socket head swivel shoulders swivel swivel hips and well, swivel hips yeah five points of articulation so you know what we obviously were expecting um, going into Force Friday from this line of figures, which I know is disappointing for a lot of people, but as I've said in other reviews, you know, I've always uh, cared more for detail over articulation. You know, I'm happy if the figure looks as close to the character as it does, and I think for the most part, you know, aside from, I hate to say it, just one more time, uh, I do think it could be a slightly darker colour, but um, I think. I'm like chrome I mean uh, but for the most part I think the detail is really superb the articulation of course you know well if you I mean I know for some people it's a deal breaker but the figure looks uh, detail wise looks great so I've had no complaints about picking up and you know as I said it's already going for quite a bit of money online um, so yeah and get two nice accessories as well the removable cape does count as an accessory and of course the blaster as far as the builder weapon goes this is the weapon you get just trying to keep phasma standing there um, it's an interesting you know weapon of course it's the first of three pieces you need to build a weapon as I said you need to buy the Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker figures to complete the weapon I don't know why but this particular piece of the weapon, the one that comes with Phasma, reminds me of those old Beyblade toys, I don't know why but uh, I never thought about Beyblade for like so many years and when I saw this with the Phasma figure I was just like that looks like one of the old Beyblade toys um, so to bring up, there's a couple of nice colours on it but you know it's nothing really too exciting, I've, well I mean I'm a collector so it won't really be exciting for me but I have to admit it's kind of Amusing to you know spin it around like this if I'm ever bored. Uh, thankfully, I don't think I'll get bored that often. <laughs> but you know, it's sort of amusing. Um, as far as what the weapon looks like, I'll just show you quickly again. So that's the completed weapon. And uh, obviously, Phasma's one goes on top. So yeah, and of course, you need the Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker figures there to complete the weapon so yeah I mean I think the Captain Phasma figure uh, after like uh, six 
uh, the Force Awakens single coded figures I've got so far, all of the others I'll be reviewing soon as well. I think it's by far my favorite. As I said, you know, there are a few complaints, you know, like I do think <laughs> I, I, this is actually hypocritical. Like two minutes ago, I said it was the last time I was mentioning it. Now I'm going to say it just one more time. Um, which is, I think the chrome colour is a little bit inaccurate, could look a bit darker, but I think, you know, it does look pretty good as well, and, you know, chrome is really difficult to pull off on um, a product, so, you know, I think they, Hasbro did a good job with it, and detail-wise, the figure looks great. Articulation, yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a problem of course but you know what can we do as we decide to do that and as I've as I already said I care more about the detail you know if a figure looks you know really great and very accurate I'm going to buy it regardless of the articulation because it's not a deal breaker for me like it is for some people and accessories the blaster looks good and the, the removable cape, that's a nice touch in my opinion. I, I don't think Hasbro needed to make the cape removable. So I'm actually, you know, happy that they did. I think it was a nice uh, touch to add to the figure in my opinion. And yeah, the build a weapon accessory, you know, <laughs> as I already said, I'm not going to be a completist who has to actually um, buy every figure to build the weapon, you know, I'm just going to buy the figures I actually want to buy, and, you know, pretty much from this first wave uh, of the Force Awakens figures with all of the different sections, forest, jungle, whatever they're called, um, you know, I'm not going to buy the Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker just to complete weapons, so, yeah, I'd give the Captain Phasma, the Captain Phasma figure an 8 out of 10 rating, um, I won't give it a higher rating because, I mean, obviously the articulation isn't a deal breaker for me, but it is still a problem. Um, and, you know, the fact that the chrome I don't think looks completely accurate, I think it could look darker. And I just said it again, of course. Um, but yeah, it's still a very good figure. And if you do see it, I do recommend picking it up. But Definitely do not pay the prices that the three and three quarter inch Captain Phasma figure this one is going for online. I mean, chances.